Joining us in studio now is Mr. Ron Tucker. Ron is the CEO of a company called Epic Corporation. Their stock symbol is E-P-O-R. Ron, always good to see you. Thank you, Don. Well, tell us again what Epic Corporation does. Okay, uh, we're a um, financial and a services company. Basically what uh, we do is uh, help companies become publicly trading companies by, in order to be able to raise capital. So when a private company is having difficulty, they, you can't take a small private company to a bank and expect to get a loan, so they want to enter the public market, get access to public company, excuse, excuse me, public capital. You help the companies achieve that. Exactly. We've had the experience of taking it on how to structure them, on uh, how to, what type of security they have mm -hmm. and should obtain to be able to trade in a public market and also how to get into the public market, how to create the shareholder distribution, and various things, and I have to effectively make it a public company. Now, of course, uh, Epic Corporation is a small pink sheet company itself, uh, EPOR is their stock symbol, but you run your company like an NYSC company. I mean, you actually declare dividends quite regularly. Tell us about that. Well, I believe in value, and that a company should have value for its shareholders. And we have a value, and, uh, but it's very difficult to convey that to the small cap mm -hmm. investors. And because they seem to be more concerned about what are sales. Mm -hmm. Well, we have sales, but they're not a selling of a product. It's right. uh, actually through capital appreciation or having assets that have, like uh, we have a design patent on uh, industrial fabric mm -hmm. that is very valuable. But at the same time, it uh, doesn't have sales because it's going into a market area. Mm -hmm. But in trying to create uh, an enthusiastic because, uh, for our shareholders and actually for new investors and a small cap investor to uh, try to attract them, I'm trying to appeal on the basis of value. Sure. And there's three bases which I'm doing that, and that is one is a value by way of an intrinsic value, mm -hmm. which we think is 4 to $5 a share, and we're only at six cents on an offer right, right, right now. And then also through the dividends that we pay out, there is a return and a value for that dividend mm -hmm. factor that creates a value for the company. And the third is one that all micro caps talk about, and that is not the cap, what is the capitalization of the market cap? Right, exactly. But the market cap is fallacious because you can have a large market cap by having billions of shares issued right. outstanding, and you're paying and trading it under pennies. Whereas ours, we have approximately 8 million of shares issued and outstanding in a float of 1.7 million. Mm -hmm. And so our market cap is none. But uh, our market cap when we were at 29 uh, million shares issued and outstanding before the reverse split, mm -hmm. uh, we were at about a dollar, uh, excuse me, at 18 cents with a 10 for one split. We're now it's a dollar 80, but guess what? Our stock is trading at six cents, yeah. less than that. But yet the value, I believe, in the market cap reflects the value of a dollar 80. Let me ask you a question because we had that conversation before going on the air where you're talking to your shareholders on a continual basis and you're recommending to your shareholders. Epic Corporation shareholders, that they become more active in small cap stocks. Tell us about that. Well, in small cap stocks that really have a value. And um, we like, as I mentioned before, for Epic, what, that, that's sort of an example, but I, one of the part of the problem that I have is to be able to invest in small companies and get them to want to participate in my program, I've got to show them that my stock is doing better. Of course. And so I'm trying to put together, and I have put together two real programs that should show that I'm trying to demonstrate to our shareholders that they buy stock now because, you know, their stock, their price, their cost of stock is about 10 times higher mm -hmm. than what it was before the stock split. So now that the stock split, they really got a, they're in a good position okay. to buy stock at a price that leverages down, that they will not only get their investment back, but they will also get, get 
of return on investment and a profit. Um, there, by doing the reverse split, I really never de decreased the value of the company. Right. Right. That's the part that's hard to get across, sure. and then nobody wants to be first, so I'm having a difficult time trying to convince them that that's not going to happen again okay. because I don't have people with free stock that I'm never going to have again that, that can drive the stock down. Yes. Once again, the company is called Epic Corporation. Their stock symbols EPOR. Fascinating discussion, Ron. Thanks so much. Thank you, Don.